Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my live. This is Susan Tapley with my sister's house, and I will be with you in just a moment. Hang in there. Good morning, everybody, and this is Susan Tapley with My Sister's House. I am an independent chalk couture designer from Massachusetts, and today I have a really fun project to share with you. Part of it's going to be an experiment. It's not something that I've ever created before, um, but, um, <laughs> you know, it's always good to try something new, and I'm so glad that you're here to share it with me. Good morning, Cindy. How are you today? Cindy, could you do me a favor? If you were in my VIP group, could you see if this is streaming live from at um, Sue's Chalk Therapy, Susan's Chalk Therapy VIP group? I'm having some trouble streaming to both uh, groups at the same time, my, my sister's house and my VIP group, so I'm not quite sure what's going on. Leslie, if you wouldn't mind taking a peek at that too, I'd appreciate it. Just see if this is streaming to my uh, VIP group. Um, yesterday, I in the, uh, the past few times I've tried to stream to both places, um, it's only going to my business page and not sharing, so I have to do a watch party later, which is fine, but I like visiting with you guys live too, so good morning, Leslie. Thank you for joining me. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to show you the project that I have. Actually, we're going to do two projects today, and I'm going to start with one that might get a little bit messy, um, but I'm going to show you how to make faux ice cream. So I haven't done this before, um, so this is going to be the great ex experiment and see how it works. If it's a flop, I don't know. We'll try again another time maybe. So let me switch over my camera so that you can see my hands as well as my face. Good morning, good morning. Yes to my VIP group. Okay, thank you, Leslie. Thank you for checking that. So um, I got this idea from a, another designer that I know. And she made um, ice cream sundaes using a glass. Uh, she actually had a sundae glass, but mine is um, more of a, I think it's a cough, fancy coffee mug, real fancy from the Dollar Tree. So um, I know the paper's not showing it very well, but it's just a clear glass um, footed va vase. Yeah, it's a cup. That um, I'm going to put some ice cream in and make this look like a, an ice cream float. So hopefully things will go as planned. But before I even do that, I'm going to show you this. This is a little, um, just a little round wooden ball that I found in my basement. And I also picked up this little stick, which I thought looked like a stem. So for our ice cream sundae, I am going to make a wee little cherry. How's that look? Because you gotta have a, a cherry on the top of your sundae, right? So I got my glue gun heating up here. I'm not quite sure if it's ready to roll yet, but I just need a little bit of glue on the end of my stem. And I'm gonna pop that right into the hole that my husband drilled for me. You guys know I'm, I'm into power tools lately, but um, I was afraid to drill a hole in a round object that could move, so I had him do it for me. So yeah, I think that looks pretty good. That looks like a cherry with a stem, right? Okay, all right, I think we're good. All right, so um, I'm gonna let this cool for just a second. It shouldn't take long. My glue actually isn't even that hot because I just plugged it in, but it's hot enough and it's holding tight. Let's scrape off the excess around the edges here, excess glue that squirted out. And we should be ready to paint this. And then we're gonna do the other things. So I have a little bit of Cardinal Red paint here. 
Um, I think I told you yesterday I used to do acrylic painting, but my life got real busy with babies, so I didn't get to do very much, not as much as I wanted to. But I do have some paint colors, and I'm just using what I have. I'm not going out buying anything. So if you've got some uh, paint, use it. And if you don't, you can always grab it at, you know, discount stores, Dollar Trees, craft stores. So I'm just going to paint this little uh, cherry red. Because you know you got to have a cherry on the top of your ice cream sundae. Whether you like them or not, um, it just makes them look pretty, right? So we're going to be making a sign with Chuck Couture, of course, that will coordinate with our ice cream sundae, but I'm going to get this cherry painted up first so that we can work on the faux ice cream. And um, Leslie, I know you have lots of kids that you play with every day. This might even be something fun you could do with them. So I'm going to let this, uh, let's see if I can get this, yeah, I'm going to let that dry for a minute. It shouldn't take long. And then I'll paint the stem. And that should be ready to go. So, ice cream. How the heck do you make faux ice cream? Do I have my stuff here? Okay, so I have a mixing bowl. We're going to be making 4th of July ice cream. But you can do this with any color, um, sprinkles. And I'm, I'm going to try to make like a syrup out of uh, paint that will represent, you know, strawberries and blueberry uh, in the ice cream. So... <laughs> We'll see how it goes, right? So what you need is just some ordinary cornstarch. Um, this one I happen to have in my cabinet. You can also buy it at, um, sometimes the Dollar Tree has it. I know I always revert back to Dollar Tree, but some things um, are, are perfect just from there, like that glass and cornstarch. So you need about, I'm gonna start with about a cup of this. And you're not baking, so you don't have to measure perfectly. So I'm gonna, did you see that? This one all over my table. About a cup of cornstarch and a big bowl, like so. And yeah, I'll clean that up after. <laughs> Never fails, right? Put this to the side and I am gonna cover that because I am so graceful and most likely I will bump into it. So you don't mix it with water. The trick to making um, make it look like ice cream is to use conditioner, hair conditioner. So I'm using my uh, good old Suave Tropical Coconut. It smells delicious. Um, whenever I use this, I, f I feel like I'm on, the, on a beach somewhere and that makes me happy. So let me grab, I think I'm just gonna use this measuring cup. I can use this one. I'm gonna start with a quarter cup of this because you want the mixture to be pretty thick. And again, um, I am not measuring exactly. It doesn't really have to be. Yeah, it smells so good. And I'm just going to start mixing this with my fork. And so you want it to be um, not too thin. You want to be able to scoop it with an ice cream scoop. So you just keep mixing this up. Till it feels sort of like a doughy, light dough consistency. Might need a little bit more conditioner in here. It's a little bit thick, I think. I'm just gonna work it a little bit more. If you guys ever made this before, I think um, another name for this kind of a dough is cloud dough. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need a little bit more in here. Just gonna squirt a bit in. Come on. Okay, Let's see what that does. Never thought you'd see me using a hair conditioner in my demos, did ya? Let's see if you can, there, I'm gonna move that a little bit for you. Okay, so what's everybody doing today while I'm mixing up here? If you are watching, be sure to say hello. If you are a first time uh, viewer, put a one in the comments so I can absolutely welcome you here. And if you don't mind sprinkling this with your friends, so they can learn how to make cloud dough and um, use chalk paste too. All right, I'm gonna try using my hands on this. It's a little bit crumbly, but I can see where it's starting to take shape. My hands are gonna be nice and smooth <laughs> and smell really good later. We can tell that I still need a bit more. You've never heard of doing this. Okay, really? Um, it's a way that you can make like a faux food. 
Oh, that's what we're doing today. Faux food. Sounds like something they might serve in the local Chinese restaurant, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this is starting to feel a little bit more like dough. Crumbly, like pie crust should be, I guess. I've never been very good at making pie crust, so hopefully my ice cream will turn out better than my pie crust does. So, yep, it's starting to take shape. I don't want to put too much conditioner in there. I'm really afraid that it will um, get too wet. But this still feels a little bit too dry, so I might add some more. So this will dry, um, I guess it dries pretty quickly. I've never made this before. You are doing it with me for the very first time. Um, and it does look like ice cream, oh my gosh, you guys. I'm gonna add a little bit more, just a bit. Let's see if I can do this without squirting it everywhere. A little bit more, okay, that should do it. It's too crumbly. So yeah, when I first saw this, I was, I was like, wow, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> And you can use this for a decoration. I'm gonna make mine um, kind of a 4th of July theme, but you could also make um, you know, sprinkles for boys or girls, birthday parties. Um, my son actually, when he got married, had an ice cream bar at his wedding, so that was pretty fun too. This is looking really, really good. I don't know if you can see well, but it's, it's soft, but it's also firm enough so that it will hold its shape when I scoop it, hopefully. Okay. So all I really need is about three scoops to fill that, that bowl. I'm gonna try it with my ice cream scoop that I have here. And what I was told was that you should have one that has um, one of these little uh, levers that will scoop the ice cream out for you. And I'm gonna grab this tray that I have over here so that I can put the scoops on it to dry while we're working with other things. Here we go. Say a little prayer, see if it looks like a scoop of ice cream. Just gonna pat it in there and overfill it a little bit. Hit that scoop, and oh my gosh, does that not look like a scoop of ice cream? Let me see if I can get three scoops out of this. That's all that I think I need. Cindy, you learn all kinds of things watching me, don't ya? <laughs> yep. It looks like just a little bit melty, but it looks really good. One more is all that I'll need, I believe. Let me get a big one, how about that? Big scoop. If you guys gone out for ice cream yet? Good morning, Christine, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Um, we have a place down near us, it's actually near the airport where I live, that we love to go every now and then, but shouldn't, right? All right, let's see. You can shape these up a little bit if you want to. You can see they're gonna fit really nicely in the glass. So I'm just gonna put these, I'm gonna put this aside and try to clean up my hands a little bit. And my desk, I made a mess. What's new, right? <laughs> All right, I'm put this on the floor beside me. And yeah. I'm like a five-year-old with Play-Doh here. All right, that's not gonna hurt anything. I'm just gonna brush it into my hand and scoop it out of the way. All right, so you can see my, I'm gonna put my ice cream here so you can see it. It really, really does look like ice cream. I'm gonna clean up my hands a little bit. You went to Friendly's the other day. Are they open? Can you go in or is it outdoors only? And you know that place, Leslie, huh? Yeah. I don't know what it is about their ice cream, but it's really good. Give you huge portions. So order a kitty cone and you'll have plenty. Oh my gosh, I need a bath. I'm a mess. All right, I'll wash them later, but good enough. All right, so I've got my ice cream and the scoop that's on the top, I definitely want to put some sprinkles on. And I'm going with the red, white, and blue theme for this. So I'm going to grab some of these red, white, and blues. I'm not sure if they're gonna stick if I just plop them on the top. So my plan was just to put some in my tray, pick up the dough, and just kind of roll it around in there. That worked. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. I wish you could see this in person. 
Let's see if I can scoop in a little closer. What do you think? Does that look like ice cream or what? All right, so let me get my, my little drink cup. My cherry's dry here. All right, I just needed to do the stem on here. Of course, the paint fell on the table. I paint my stem. How cute is that? And I'll glue that to the top of the ice cream when I'm done. I am really making a mess today, you guys. Oh, I'm curious. You're curious about this, huh? All right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put my cup here. You see that? Oh, let me move it a little bit more. I'm going to have to zoom back out again. Sorry, guys. Wrong way. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna move this to the side and I'm gonna take my first scoop of ice cream and plop it into the jar. It is still nice and soft, so it should go right down. And here we go. As you can see, it sure looks like ice cream. I'm gonna take some uh, another color paint. This is uh, Deco Art Americana. It's burgundy wine. It's a little bit pinker than the red I used on the cherry because I'm thinking like, um, you know, red, white, and blue theme. So I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of this red paint on the ice cream and see what happens. This might be a total flop, but I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Gotta get it on the side of the glass, right? All right so we've got our little bit of strawberry, a little bit more. And then I'm gonna do my next scoop. Put this one here. Do you guys think I need a straw on here or should I have a spoon? What do you think? I've got some really cute red, white, and blue um, straws that I could use. All right, here we go with the blue paint. This is uh, Liberty Blue by Ceramcoat. Again, it's just something I had in my basement and that is going in really nicely. Actually a little nicer than the strawberry did. We've got our layers going on. And then finally, we're gonna put this scoop on the top. I don't know, I might add just a little, no, I don't wanna add any more red paint because it'll get into the, into the blue and look really ugly. So there's our ice cream. So I've got my cherries drying and I have red, white, and blue straws. And I also have a couple of spoons. So do you think I should use the straws or the spoons? What do you guys think? Leslie says straws. All right. We're going to do it. Are these adorable? I think they were from Target. It's pretty funny. I never get to go shopping, but I, I find stuff. I sure do. And this is just the right project for these. I think I'm gonna do, oh, definitely a red one. And definitely a blue one. Do I need a white one too? No. All right, we're gonna do red and blue straws. Pop them in there. How cute. I'm afraid to tip it too far. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm gonna cut these. They are a bit too long for this project. And I don't want to disturb that ice cream too much. So just kind of push them into the sundae. Oh my gosh, you guys got to see this. I'm going to flip my camera so you can see it a little better. Look at this. Good enough to eat? What do you think? <laughs> I love it. So let's add that cherry. It's almost, the stem's almost dry. I do think I might have to hot glue this on. But that will be the finishing touch. Adorable. Let's see. A little plop of glue there. And let's see what I can see. Ta da! This is so cute. This is adorable. All right, so we have our 4th of July ice cream. I love it. I'm so excited how this came out. It really, really does look like ice cream. 
All right, I'm going to put this to the side for now as much as I want to keep looking at it and clean up here just a little bit. And then we're going to make our sign to match. Got a lot of junk here. My table has never been this messy. Never, ever. <laughs> the paint over there. So welcome, everybody. If you are just popping in, we just made ice cream. We made an ice cream sundae. Be sure to say hello in the comments, and uh, we're not supposed to say uh, S-H-A-R-E on Facebook anymore, so if you wouldn't mind hitting that sprinkle button so that your friends can, and family can see what we're doing here, I would so much appreciate it. That is the best compliment you can give me if you enjoy watching my, my broadcasts. So we are going to be making a sign with our Odette board. I believe this is, I want to say... Six by 18 and I always want to remember to put the hangers on the right side so I just washed this off I had a welcome sign on it for a long time but change is good right so we're gonna be working with this transfer good morning Janice good morning Gail welcome welcome if in case you missed it here is our first project of the day we made this beautiful little ice cream let me get my screens back to where they should be and I'm going to show you the transfer that we're working with. This is called Soda Fountain. It is a C-size transfer that you can cut apart and make so many different cute little things with. And today we're going to be using um, handmade soda fountain, hand scoop cones, drinks on tap. So you also have whatever sprinkles your cookies. You've got drinks well with others. There's so many ways that you can use this. I was thinking about, I'm not going to mention her name, but I have a friend that would love this on her t-shirt because she drinks well with others. And um, this one here, whatever sprinkles your cookies, how would that be, wouldn't that be so cute at Christmas time when you're making Christmas cookies? Have them out there and do them in all red and green. Let me see what I got going on here. Get away. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're gonna cut this one apart and we're just gonna use handmade soda fountain on this beautiful little Odette board. So let's open this up and we'll get this part started. And I'm gonna do this one again in red, white, and blue so that it matches our ice cream. And I'm so excited the way that came out. It's just adorable. And it's not melting, and I can't eat it, so that's even better, right? All right, this over here. There's sprinkles everywhere, my whole room. I'm gonna to have to vacuum. All right, so these all have cutting lines on them, so I'm just gonna cut right across here. And definitely I will be doing some um, projects with the other transfers as well. Not today, another day. Well, let's go over here. So, oh my gosh, I am a mess. So that should fit right on here perfectly. This is going to be so cute. I've also seen this done in um, retro colors, in like pink and teal, and it looked like something from the 50s. So cute. But we're gonna do it in red, white, and blue. Good morning, Janice, glad to see you today. So I'm gonna take out my fuzzing cloth, but of course I'm going to, if I can find my Sharpie here. I'm gonna write soda fountain on the back. And my initials. And of course the reason that I write on the back is so um, that after I've used my uh, silk screen transfer, these are reusable. So you can wash them, dry them, and return them back to this white carrier sheet they come on. Writing on the back reminds me not to attach it to this side of the paper. The paper that I, the side that I want it to be attached to is um, slick and shiny. And it's not coming off. Okay, here, let me try down here. Wow, this doesn't want to come off today. Usually they roll right off for me. Here we go. Um, so this side of the transfer is very shiny and slick and the transfers are super sticky. So you want to reattach the sticky side of the transfer to the slick side of the paper, not the side that you wrote on. There we go. It's going to take me an hour to clean up after this one today. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do something called fuzzing before I put this on my surface. Our transfers are usually very, very sticky. And because of that, um, it can be a little hard to remove them from your surface sometime. So what I'm gonna do is just lay this on my fuzzing towel 
if you don't have one, you can use your t-shirt, you can use a towel, anything that will just pick up a little bit of lint fuzz and soften the adhesive a little bit. And if you're doing something that's layered, you want a super fuzz so that um, you don't pull up the first layer that you did by the second layer. All right, so I'm gonna pop this on here. It's actually pretty easy to center with this kind of a board with the curved edges because of these corners here. So I just gotta get, get it so the whole design is in the right spot. Let's see. That looks about right, I think. Oh, I need to go this way just a smidge. Okay. Straight is not easy for me, you guys. I don't know. I try, but. So I'm thinking of using just red and blue on here. I could add some gold. What do you guys think? That looks good. Do you think I should add gold on this for just red and blue? So what I'm doing is I'm smoothing the transfer out with a squeegee. You can use your hand if you want to. I see I've got a little bit of, look at that. It's a little bit of my uh, sprinkle stuck on the adhesive. <laughs> Get that nice and smooth. And we are almost ready to go, but I can see right here I've got a bump, so I'm gonna have to pull this up just a little bit and smooth it back down. I'll use a bigger one. There we go. That would have been a mess. And it's not the worst thing in the world if you have a bubble in your transfer. Um, if you're using a surface like a chalkboard, and this is sort of a white chalkboard surface, you can wash it right off and, and fix it easily. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. All right. Leslie says just red and blue, eh? Okay. All right, I'm thinking I want to do the soda fountain in red. Maybe I'll do handmade in blue, the outline in blue, and then maybe blue and red. What do you think? All right, so the piece that I colored that I'm using is navy. I do not have this color available any longer, um, but there is one that is very similar. And again, I don't have my catalog to tell you what it is. Believe me. <laughs> In case you want to look at um, all the different colors that are available, let me just pop this up here for you. That is my website where I have all these lovely things, including this design transfer, if you're interested. If you're interested in ordering it. I can also order it for you. Just um, let me know you would like it, and I will definitely take care of that. I also have uh, the surfaces that I can order for you as well as paste and tools and everything you need, except cornstarch to make ice cream today. Gosh, that is so cute. I just wanna keep looking at it. So that needs a little bit of a drink. You want to stir up your chalk paste before you use it. And all I'm doing is adding a little bit of um, distilled water um, so that I can get this a little bit smoother and about the consistency of cake batter. If it is thicker than cake batter, if it's more like brownie batter, like it was, you want to add a couple, you know, little sprays or, or drops of water until you get it to be the right consistency. This is feeling a little bit happier, but I think it needs just a little bit more. Welcome, welcome. If you are just joining me, please be sure to hit that S-H-A-R-E button and sprinkle my video with your friends and family. Because this is really cool stuff. All right, that looks pretty good. And I'm also going to be using candy apple. Let's check and see how happy this is. I know, I have a happy chalk. Yep, this is pretty. I'm just going to just a smidge. I've had this red for I don't know how long. Um, it's called candy apple. And for some reason, this chalk stays beautifully nice and smooth. And rarely have I added water to it. It is normal for it to thicken a bit over time, um, but just, you know, give it a little water and stir and you'll be good to go. All right, that looks good. Let's put that there, put this here. All right, the stir sticks that I'm using, by the way, are um, 
from Amazon. However, I do have them on my website now. When I ordered them, we didn't have them available. But I do now. So, there we go. I think we're going to start at the top and work our way down. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning, good morning. And we're going to do the handmade and all around the edges in blue. But I'm going to stop, I think, right about here with the blue. Then we'll just do the red and then the ones down here. And then I'll finish the edges. Then we'll have ice cream. All right, so let's go in with the blue. Again, I'm using uh, navy, if you happen to have it at home. Um, it is a color that we don't have any longer, but we have one that is very similar. I just can't think of the name of it. So I'm smoothing the chalk paste over the design. All of the white areas that you see are open, um, screened areas, and you're pushing the chalk paste through the screen. This isn't paint at all, it is actually chalk. And it goes on wet, dries hard really quickly, but it is water soluble. So when I want to put something else on this, this surface, I can wash it right off with some lukewarm water. Actually, earlier this morning, it had a welcome sign on it that I was a little bit attached to, but I washed it off. You can always redo it. So I put the paste on a little bit thicker than I know that I need it to be, but I'm going to go back over the design and scoop off all the excess. Until you are comfortable using the chalk and learning how quickly it dries, please go a little bit more heavy handed with the chalk um, so that it doesn't dry before you remove the transfer. So today we're gonna to be doing the paste and peel method. So I already did the pasting, so now I'm gonna peel this transfer back and just let this sit for a second. Yeah, because I just stuck my finger in the paint. How you doing, Natalie? Thanks for joining me. All right, there we go, handmade. So I could actually go in there and hit it with my heat tool to dry it even faster. Maybe I will. And you wanna be careful not to let your transfer fold on top of itself like that because your wet paste on the front side will attach itself to underneath. And be super careful when you're drying that you don't heat up your um, transfer because it will warp it and distort every ribbon and you don't want to ruin your transfers because again these can be used over and over again all right so that doesn't have to be thoroughly dry um did i freeze up See what I've got going on here. My screen is frozen on my computer where I can see your comments. So I'm just gonna check and reload this and make sure that it's still working fine. Yep, it looks like it is. All right, so I'm just gonna drop that down. I just let it fall back very lightly and I'm gonna go back in and go, oops, I got a little something underneath here. Where did you come from? A little piece of string or something. Yeah, that's all right. I'm gonna go back in there and smooth the design back down nice and flat. Because I pulled it up, it could have a bubble in it, so you just make sure those are nice and tight. And we'll go back in and do soda fountain with the uh, candy apple red. Ah, now I can't see your comments. There we go. All right. So scoop up some of this candy apple, again, thicker than you think you need it if you are new, if you've done this a lot and you have a feel for how quickly it dries, go thinner, um, it's up to you. Certain things like humidity and the room temperature can affect how fast it dries. Just something to think about if you're chalking outside and the wind is blowing, it's gonna dry fast. I haven't done too much outdoor chalking, usually inside, but I know if I'm working um, in my downstairs uh, basement and I have my electric heater running um, I definitely see a difference in how quickly it dries. I have to be really fast with it. Okay so I'm getting that all covered. I'll turn my messages on here so I can see you guys this way too. Okay. Oh yeah I got a new tab here. There we go. Sorry. Okay, let me see how that works. So I'm gonna go back in and scoop it back off. You wanna leave a nice thin coat of paste on your surface. It's 
right back in the jar. So there's very, very little waste with the paste. No waste with the paste. All right, we're getting there. It's gonna look so cute. Can't wait to see it with the ice cream. So again, I'm gonna pull this back. You wanna always remove your transfer before it dries. There we go. Heat it up a little bit, get it dry. Well, I'm not drying this thoroughly, like I said, I'm just giving it a light dry. Just kind of eliminate some smudging you might get later. But you can just hold on to it for a minute or two and let it, let it rest. Or warm it up a little. It's up to you. If you don't have a heat tool like mine, you can always use your hair dryer. Or just let it air dry. Rub that back down. I'm going to go in. I think I'm going to do. I don't know what you guys think. Should I do like blue there and red there and then finish the blue edges? Or just leave it all red or all blue? What do you think? This is so weird. Let me go back to, pardon me for just a second, I'm just trying to figure out my, um, my Facebook thing got wonky on me. Put it in here. If you guys have any questions about anything I'm doing, please let me know. I'm happy to answer your questions. So that's that I'm live here. Okay, I think I'm back. All right, so what do you think? Red, or red for everything? Or blue? I don't want it to look too choppy. I might just go in with red again. I think I will. Blue all around? So I'm going to do blue all around the edges. So should I do blue words? Leslie says blue too. Okay, I'm going with that. Guys, say blue, I'll do blue. Okay, so I hit, hit it up with some blue. I did a watch party last night. I don't know if any of you guys watched it with me in my VIP group. But... <laughs> It's so funny to hear how, I, I wasn't listening actually, I was just watching it, and you can um, see the closed caption words. It was so funny, the stuff I say isn't usually what they translated it to say, so. I was like, did I really say that? All right, I'm just gonna quickly do around the edges and pull this. I'm using a thin coat. I might have a little bubble right there. I saw it. I can fix it though if I do. See how quickly you can do this? Would you guys use this for a birthday party or how else would you use it other than 4th of July or I was thinking birthdays, weddings, picnics, um, Got any other ideas? How about if a friend had an ice cream shop or a restaurant? Okay. I see a few imperfections in a bubble right here, which might or might not be a problem. So let's pull this. Yep, it was a problem, <laughs> but I can fix it. There we go. Handmade soda fountain. All right. So I don't know if you can see, but I got a little run right here where my uh, my transfer wasn't down firmly enough. So let me show you how you can fix that. There are a couple different methods. Oh my goodness, do I not have a... Okay. I don't seem to have a Q-tip handy. So there are a couple different ways that you can fix this. First of all, I have this little rubber tipped brush that I might be able to scrape this up with. Maybe not. Let's see if I can wet it a little bit. This isn't my favorite method. <laughs> you can do that and dab it with a paper towel. And try not to blur your line. 
The other thing you can do is wait for it to dry thoroughly and you can try to scrape it off with your fingernail. So those are two different ways. There's actually three. You can also grab, like I said, grab a Q-tip and work it off. Well, it's still wet. It comes off pretty easily. I'm just wetting this down a little bit with this rubber brush. You could use a regular brush too. It doesn't matter. Just want to be careful not to, like I said, get the line all wet because that could bleed like it just did. Look at that. That's pretty good. All right, now I have to touch up one little spot here. Come on. So if it was a complete disaster, I would have just washed that area off and we laid the transfer back on top of it again and fixed it. So there is so cute. And here's my little soda fountain drink. It looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? I love this project. So you guys, if while you were watching, you thought this looked like a lot of fun, you'd like to join me as a designer, please let me know. I'd love to share some information with you. I do have a VIP group um, on Facebook where I have my local people, mostly the local people are in there that want to know about um, upcoming um, hands-on workshops. Unfortunately, right now I'm not able to hold them because of our social distancing, but hopefully in the future that won't be something that will be... Um, too, too far off in the distance and we can do that again together. I also offer specials in my VIP group. So if you are not in my VIP group and you are not a designer, please write VIP in the comments and I'll be sure to get you in there. Um, I also have a club. It's called Club Couture where every month I will ship you a um, unique um, exclusive design transfer and three chalk paste singles and we can do projects using our Club Couture transfers together. So I want to thank you so much. I'm glad you liked it, Leslie and Cindy. Oh, thank you, Christine. Came out really, really cute. I love it. Pirate. Oh, pirates. I need stronger glasses. Parties for sure. Yeah, adorable. And again, there's no calories involved in this ice cream, so have all you want. I hope you enjoyed. I'll take a really cool picture of this up close so you can see everything all together. And tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. I will be back and I'm going to be doing, um, oh, I'm really excited to do this project. I'm doing it on a wood surface and I did play with my scroll saw again. So we're going to be doing something kind of nautical. I hope you like it. So join me tomorrow at 10 a.m. And I thank you very much for joining me. Thank you so much for sharing. Oops, I said that word sprinkling. And I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Oh, before I leave. Just I wanted to mention again that I do have my rise and shine. Let me pull up my oh, picture. My rise, uh, my rise and shine bundles are still available. I'll be taking orders for these kits until Friday morning, when I'll be ordering all the supplies that we need um, to make these. These are thirty-two dollars. It includes a reusable transfer, your chalk paste, your tags, your bows, your cup, your handle, everything but. The color of your cup so you can choose that yourself using some paint that you have on hand have a wonderful day and i will see you again tomorrow morning 10 a.m eastern standard time thanks for joining me have a great day bye bye